All right, so uh, early signing day was Wednesday. Just talk about uh, the class so far. Well, we're excited. We signed three very good players that we think can come in here and really help us. Um, you know, we have one senior in John Bohannon, and so we have a lot of players that will be returning. But that following year, we're going to be losing about five seniors. So these next two classes are so important. Um, the players that, that uh, we're bringing in this year, we think, are good enough to be impact players as freshmen and, uh, and help us win. Um, you know, first player I'll talk about is a kid named Chris Sandifer from Los Angeles, 6'6", six, six, left-handed, extremely athletic, can really shoot the three. Um, you know, he's as good, I think, as anybody uh, in Southern California. You know, he's, he's, he's dynamic. He was originally committed to the University of Missouri, um, decommitted, and we were able to pick him up. But he can do a lot of different things, and he's a guy I think can play in any conference. Uh, Omega Harris is another impact player from Oklahoma. I think he's a guy that could be very good in any Big 12 school. Uh, he's a combo guard. He can play the point, can play the two, can get you a basket. He can get in the lane, find guys. Uh, really, really a tremendous talent with a lot of burst. Uh, and then Trey Touche is our uh, other signee from Lafayette, Louisiana, who's just a big time winner. You know, Juan is a junior at a high level. Uh, really can get to the basket and get fouled. Uh, makes all of his free throws. Um, you know, great outside shooter, and really is a guy that's a utility guy that can play the one, the two, the three, can play anywhere. Uh, he's got good size for his position, so uh, we think that all three of those players can help us. You know, right now the perimeter is so important to us moving forward, um, but we still uh, could sign someone here in the, in the early signing period. Uh, we're still considering taking a transfer player at mid-semester. And then, uh, depending on our needs, you know, maybe taking another player even in the spring signing in April. And what, yeah, what else would you, you know, what else do you think you could get in the next class or, you know, to, to help fill out the roster? You know, a lot of that changes is going to depend kind of on how the season goes. I think, you know, every day really that your needs change, you know, as you're evaluating your team, as, uh, you know, potential injuries come up or whatever, you're always kind of looking to, to have it. A hand out there in regards to recruiting each position but I'd say right now on paper in 2014 finishing this class is making sure that our perimeter is secured and make sure that we've got players that can play the point guard position for us and then in 2015 our needs I think are really shift in which we're getting all positions especially inside players because we'll be losing a lot of inside players so uh, these years come quickly and you got to always be on top of everybody because um, you never know what could happen, you know, and, I, and I've seen it for many years, you know, guys go pro, guys transfer out, guys get injured, there's a lot of things that can happen, so we've got to have a pulse on recruiting on a daily basis. All right, Coach. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so